I'm Henry Holland. We are backstage at my Spring Summer 2014 show in a car park in the middle of London, Soho, London. And that's why I'm wearing leather. This season's show is all about romantic uh, nights in Mexico City. Tequila, like the smell of petrol, um, and it's kind of um, it's a, like a trip to Mexico City via Venice Beach. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, Venice Beach tattoo parlor. So there's kind of these really acid bright, kind of trippy prints, which incorporate um, tattoo motifs. Um, it's lots. It's very romantic. It's quite womanly. There's more a more womanly silhouette uh, with some lace pieces and some lace inserts. It's quite romantic and it's quite pretty in places. But the girl herself is actually quite tough. Um, so she's kind of she's a bit harder. She's a bit tougher. She's got tattoos on her shins, courtesy of some tights. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like, it's very um, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. Homegirls. Yeah, from kind of like Cholo girls, like Homegirls, like LA Gang Girls, um, that film, Baz Luhrmann's film. I mean, just his visual, the visual things that he creates in his films is just incredible. And the way that he interpreted Venice, Venice Beach in that film in Mexico City, it was just through these sort of, like you're taking an acid trip, like through these kind of weird Baz Luhrmann tinted glasses. That's kind of how we've approached the collection. It's kind of like um, a kind of cholo, like South American um, holiday through Baz Luhrmann sunglasses. So uh, with the catwalk this season, we've created this set. So we've got an angled mirror and we've printed the floor. So by printing the floor, that gives you the print of reverse on the backdrop. Um, so and then as the girls come out right next to the mirror you get to see them from above and you also see them head on so you get this crazy view where you see them walk out of the mirror and it's like they're walking on the clouds like in the clouds they're like surrounded by clouds so it's kind of this trippy um, vibe again I've been tripping a lot I've been locked in my studio I haven't seen much of what's happened in London so far but um, if New York was anything to go by everything's white Get the bleach out and dye everything white. It's just white. I mean, um, it's very clean. It's kind of a very clean and fresh aesthetic. It kind of came out of New York, but it often does out of New York. I think from London, you get to see lots of different, um, exploring loads of different uh, reference points and different ideas. I think New York often has quite a, a strong thread running through it. So it'll be exciting to see the rest of London. I haven't seen anything. So um, all I can tell you is about what's behind me. And I've just done that. My mother will be here, yes, she's on her way. Um, I saw her briefly on Thursday. We just got a hilarious text from my grandma. Yeah, they're all coming, as usual. It's, they take up like a whole block of seats. Uh, my Fashion Week top tip this year is um, to drink loads of coffee. Match every coffee with a bottle of water. How exciting is that? Do you know what I haven't drunk yet this Fashion Week? We usually have drinks in the studio. I haven't had one. Water, water, water. Been very well behaved. My main fashion week down is uh, like get too caught up in it, chill out. It's fashion week. Like don't spend forever putting your outfits together. Just wear what makes you feel good and enjoy it. Don't get too like obsessed with everything. <laughs> It was really good. <laughs> um, I think it went really well. Um, I was really pleased with how they went out. Obviously, I haven't seen the amazing video, which I'm sure is going to be incredible. Um, I haven't seen the video yet, but um, I know that it is. Uh, it was looking incredible, and um, I absolutely loved what went out. And I felt really confident in it when I saw it all together with the music and the hair and the makeup. And I felt really strong. Well, the friends always say it's good, so that you know you can't really listen to them because they're not going to come out and be like, 
clangor. Um, but the press seemed um, into it. Yeah, they, they seemed enthusiastic um, and they, um, yeah, which is a good sign. I think it was a good one for House of Holland. It's a thumbs up for House of Holland. Freak them, freak them, freak them, freak them.